While there are many different ways to tie a tie, one of most well known is the Windsor knot and its companion, the half Windsor knot. It's elegant and it is most suitable for the widespread shirt collar. Stand in front of a mirror. The mirror will help guide you as you tie your tie, making it easier and producing fewer mistakes. Take the thick end of the tie in your right hand and the thin end of your tie in your left hand. Cross the thick end of the tie over the thin end. Take the thick end up through the loop in your neck. Pass the thick end behind the loop first, and then over. The thick end should now be resting near the left side of your neck. Pass the thick end behind the thin end. Pass the thick end up and over through the loop in your neck. Instead of passing the thick end under and then over the loop, as in step 4, pass it over and then under. The thick end should be resting near the right side of your neck. Cross the thick end in front of the thin end. Pass the thick end up and under the loop in your neck. Feed the thick end down through the loop in the front of the tie. Adjust the triangle formed by the double Windsor and cinch up the tie around your collar. Stand in front of a mirror. Observe what you're doing in the mirror to help you see what is happening as you tie the knot. You won't need the mirror once you've got the hang of the tying but initially it helps with getting the tie length correct. Put the tie around your neck. Place the wider end on the right, and about a foot lower than the narrower side on the left. Cross the wide end over the narrow end. Create somewhat of an uneven X, with the thinner side located on the bottom and the wider side on top. Bring the tie through the loop. The top V from the X you created in the previous step and the collar of your shirt should make a loop. Cross the wide end of your tie under the thin end and through the loop. Pull the wide end underneath the narrow end and to the right, back through the V loop and to the right again, so that the wide end is inside out. Cross the wide end over the thin end again, crossing to the right. Bring the tie through the loop. There should be somewhat of a loose knot trapped around the thinner end now. Take the wider end that you just pulled through the loop and put it through the loose knot. Using both hands, carefully tighten the knot until it is resting a small distance below the collar.